Please give it up huge for Miss Gail Jones. Gail Jones. That's right. That's right. Well, I've wanted to do stand-up comedy for a long time, but as you can see, I've waited so long I can hardly stand up. <laughs> I got me one of these pedometers to try to get into shape, and you're supposed to do 10,000 steps a day, and so far I've done 77. <laughs> I'm just an exercise whore. <laughs> you know what? The golden years, they're really the rusty years. <laughs> the golden years, what a crock! Ha, 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 ha. That's why my bra ass by. Boobs! Boobs! Where are you? I'm down here! <laughs> <laughs> so now I'll wear my bra for a belt. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it used to be that when I coughed or laughed, I'd pee just a little bit. <laughs> well, now, since my open heart surgery, when I cough or laugh, I fart. <laughs> I don't know what diff difference in connection there is, you know, between the heart and the anus. <laughs> I guess the sphincter goes, too. <laughs> I mean, you know, I know my heart's fallen for a couple of anuses. <laughs> I guess so. Uh, you know, I go to the movie with my friend Audrey and she gets up every time and she says, excuse me, Gail, and the whole time she's going in front of me. <laughs> now in Louisiana, they call that crop dusting. <laughs> I grew up in Alabama, Georgia, and Tennessee, so that makes me a southern belle. Ding dong! <laughs> Every time I went out, my mom would say to me, Gail, did you put on clean underwear in case you have an accident? Never giving a minute's thought to what would happen to my underwear if I was hit at 70 miles an hour. <laughs> And you know, I didn't know a single woman that would tell you her age. Like when my grandma died, she was so vain, she had inscribed on her tombstone, How old do I look? <laughs> and they didn't tell us a word about sex. Not one word. I thought you could get pregnant from a sneeze, from a French kiss, from the swimming pool. Finally, my girlfriend educated me and told me that a rubber was what a guy wore when he had his period. <laughs> I believed her, too. Boy, was I in for a chaperone. <laughs> First time I had orgasm, I thought God was striking me with paralysis. <laughs> for having sex when I wasn't married. <laughs> In my legs, it hurt. But you know, you've got to be a virgin back in those days, and if you wasn't, you better fake it. <laughs> oh, honey, I know I'm 45, but I'm a virgin. <laughs> yeah, right. So with that kind of a background, when I grew up, I decided to be a sex therapist. <laughs> and you know, the guys that I've seen over the years, a lot of them are concerned about their penis size. You know, and there's this old joke I tell them, it's not the length of the wand, it's the magic of the wizard. <laughs> Ain't that right, ladies? <laughs> All right, so guys, relax. <laughs> You're okay. We're okay. Everybody is okay. And then, you know, um, 
I want to tell you this one thing about you young guys. Any of you not getting the action you want in the bedroom? Huh? Somebody answer me out there. Well, take heart, because when you're 60, there's going to be six women to every one man, and they're going to be crawling all over you because they can't freaking walk. <laughs> I'm Gail Jones on my Facebook. <laughs>